gone around and through taking geometry or massing from Format Pro and into Insight 360 for energy analysis. So Format Pro is available as a desktop application. You can access it in the web browser. You can also access it on mobile tablets and iPads. So what the Pro version gives you over the free version, it gives you the desktop application. It gives you collaboration with people working remotely, access to the Autodesk material library to be able to enhance your designs and apply different materials to your building or your design. It gives you access to solar analysis, which I'll run through, and also energy analysis using Insight 360. So the user interface is fairly basic and fairly intuitive. So there's some drawing tools in the top bar. You have to create sketches and different geometry. And on the right hand side, you have different navigation tools. So you have 3D top views, 3D cube view, and using your shift key and your scroll button on your mouse, you're able to navigate around. There's also a number of other options here on your right hand side, and I'll run through some of them in a moment. So first of all, first of all I'm going to locate my site. So I've already located a site in this case. I've put in an address. I know exactly where it is. That brings me into a Google window. Now I can type in an address, a different county, a different part of the country, different part of the world even. I can zoom in on my site. I can move this and say, oh, well, actually the site's over there. That's where I want my building to be. And it will jump to that location. So I'm just going to pull it back to this location. I'm familiar with this site. And I, this is potentially, as an architect, I've been approached by a client. They want to develop this site uh, for a home, a two-story home for themselves. So I've located it here in the address bar. And it brings up some options here for your weather station. So I'm going to select the closest weather station. And this brings in different information, including average temperature, different wind directions, and broken down by different seasons of the year as well. So I'm just going to X out of that. I want to import satellite image. So that is located my site. I can zoom out and it will bring in more site context. But for this instance, I just want to be fairly close into the site. Select finish importing. And you can see that has brought a flat plane of the Google map into my 3D environment. So with that in place, I'm just going to jump to my top view over my site. I'm going to get my sketching pen create sketch. I'm just going to draw a line so I know my site is located beside this building so it roughly runs down there down by the edge of the river and my boundary runs at a skew direction up there but so I want to maximize my site because it's a tight city location I want to get as much floor space as possible. So we can see within that view it's created a plane you can hover over to highlights but in my 3D view I'm able to rotate and see how that sits in the site. Now for the moment that's just a flat plane. If I want to single click on that, hover over it, you can see the little hand cursor comes up and it tells you it's on the face. So on the right hand side here it's bringing up face properties. You know that's roughly a footprint of 232 square meters. So I want to extrude this into a mass. So I want it to be two stories. I'm just going to pull it up to say 7.3 meters and I can change this to 17 meters. It will change to that height but I want to keep it to 7.5 meters say so click OK on that so that's just a simple model geometry you can see how it sits in it a matter of minutes you can see how a building or mass sits in the site and you want to perform a shadow analysis so in this case the shadows are already turned on but by default they can be turned off so I'm just going to select shadows turn them on and because this site is geolocated to exactly my address, I'm able to change different times of the year, different times of the day, see how the sun reacts to the neighbouring site, different times of the day, any overshadowing issues, I'm able to perform that. But what if I want to do something further with that? What about being able to do solar analysis and to see what the solar gains of a particular element of a building are, the walls or the wind or the roof? So it brings up a, a, an orange box around your, your engaged tool here. So I'm just going to double click on my geometry. And you can see on the left hand side it brings up analyze here. And I want to look at the month peak for say January of the solar gains of that building. 
going to click start analysis and you can see within a matter of seconds it brings up the watt hours per square meter of that building so if I hover over this building it tells me the kilowatt hours per square meter is 415 for that facade and obviously at the north facing side it's a lot less it's 28 and that's in January but what if we want to look at the monthly average for that to inform what type of heating system we put into our building so you can see as soon as I select year cumulative you're able to decide what's the best location for solar panels and obviously on the roof we've got 755 kilowatt hours per square meter which is, is fairly substantial and you can see the different impacts on the facades of the building so that's just simple model geometry how might glazing be affected per month certain fenestration within your building how much glazing you might want to put on, on facades that have, have lower um, solar gains so that'll, that informs you of that element as well so I'm just going to finish that, exit out of that. So in order to perform an energy analysis or further energy analysis, I need to apply levels to my building. So I'm going to select levels. I want to add multiple levels. So I want to add two levels. Let's say three meters a piece. It's going to click OK. So that's created two levels here. That's fine. Now I want to apply these to the actual mass. I'm going to double click on my building. Apply properties select use levels and you can see that that has pulled a line across my building there so that's created two levels one quite high level and one ground floor level as well it also tells you the volume on the right hand side and it tells you the area by level as well so level one 232 and because it's the same size geometry it's level two at the top So if I want to perform an energy analysis of that, I go up to this tab at the top right, and I want to generate an insight. So I click Generate Insight, and it will take maybe three to five minutes, depending how busy the Autodesk Cloud is. And then once that's generated, this is one I've prepared earlier, I just click View Insight. This then brings me to the Insight 360 user interface. And because I've only created just plain mass, no windows or anything, it automatically assumes certain rules so you can see it's applied glazing in this instance and it knows it's divided by two levels so I can go down and I can see what the average of this building to run euro per square meter per year so it's 22.8 and we can see to meet ASHRAE standards it needs to be 21.1 .1. but if you want to meet the architecture 2030 standards which are US standards but are standards all the same it's 2.8 per square meter a year so as you see different elements you run down through your report here and by default these are facing forward so just as an example the window to wall ratio you want to see what it's applied by default so it's applied a 44 percent of window to glazing ratio and you can see if you brought that up to 95 percent glazing ratio it would cost you an additional 185 euro per square meter per year if you were to bring that down to 15 percent which you might want to do it brings it down to 20 cent per square meter per year this allows you to select different types of glazing so currently it's just selected standard glazing but if you wanted to go for a triple uh, low energy glazing it will cost you 43 cent per meter squared per year But if you're only to go for double glazing, you're able to compare these now, it will actually cost you 83 cent. So the triple glazing works out better for the moment. So I'm just going to click on that one. So I want to apply the triple glazing and you can see that has impacted the cost there. And you can do that with the various settings within this as well different wall constructions you can see the various impact on the costs now these wall constructions are taken from the ASHRAE US standards but these U values and OR values can be compared if you go into your green building studio you're able to access and see exactly what the impact and U values are of these 
uh, properties of these elements already. So as you make different changes, it creates different scenarios of your building. You're able to see the different costs of that. So you just want to single out one change, and that's changing the window glass on the west, and it's reduced your cost by 164 a year per square meter. So what if you want to change the settings? So I'm just going to click back to Insight here. And just to reiterate, this is all done within a browser. Just added benefit to be able to access it. So default is set to metric. You can change it to annual cost or energy use intensity as well, if you want to compare it to the likes of passive house standards. But annual cost, I've set it to, and I've set my utility rates to costs I found online for averages in Ireland for electricity rate per kilowatt hour and averages for gas rate as well per cubic meter. And this saves all of your different scenarios in here as well. You might have different buildings, different designs. You're able to compare those to different standards. Your net zero, how does that apply? So just to recap, I've shown creating a basic geometry and locating a site and format, and then to be able to generate an energy insight, and then to be able to review that energy insight within a browser.